and the beginning of the alphabet. Okay, leasing versus buying. Fatima can buy a car for 38000 She plans to sell it in four years. Should she buy it or lease it? Her bank will finance this at 5.8% compounded monthly. Um, do cars go up in value? They don't appreciate, they, what's the word? Depreciate. Depreciate. Yeah, but they don't make those no more. But if you have one. Yeah. If you did. Thirty percent per year. That's actually kind of conservative. Must be an import. And I don't mean Mercedes. She could also lease. So what's the difference between leasing and renting? It's got a set term. A set term. Contract, okay. Rent is like month per month. So if you if it's a some people say, well, it's a, if it's a car, it's a lease, and if it's a house, it's a rent. Well, a house could be a lease too. If you sign a contract for two years, well, all right, it's a set term, it's not month per month, then technically that would be called a lease. So she could also lease the car. Now there's lots and lots of fine print here, okay? Just because one example says buying's the way to go, maybe another example says leasing's the way to go, everything is different. You've got to look at the fine details. And even then, when you do all the math that's complicated as heck with all the fine print and the lease agreement, you still might not know because things change. What happens when you get in an accident? Okay? It's got to get fixed. Well, you know, to what standard does it get fixed? It's not that simple. Okay, so she can lease it for four seventy nine a month. Same term for four years. Okay, Ooh, with five hundred dollars down, which is best. Is leasing a bad word? Sometimes. Sometimes it might be the right thing to do. Every situation is different. Okay? you got to look at the details. Some leases are terrible. And some leases are, you know what? Financially, maybe that makes the most sense. Okay? It's just, it's not black and white. you got to do the math. Okay. So we've got to analyze this thing. We've got to compare apples to apples. What's it going to cost each way? So let's look at buying it. Okay, you're buying a depreciating asset. That's terrible. Shame on you. Shame on Fatima. Okay? But we all got to drive, don't we? Or do you? Around here you kind of do. Yeah. Okay. Maybe if you live downtown and you work downtown Vancouver, Maybe you can walk to work. You ever driven down there? No, I just... Go down one-way streets all the time? <laughs> Go down Robson? Pedestrians are jumping out in front of your car every 30 seconds? Just kidding. Yeah, lots, you do get points, and they take your license away. And, you know, hopefully you don't kill anybody. Okay, we're buying it. Just look at the buy information. What's in? Four times, four years times how often a year? Yeah, four years, 12 times a year, that's 48. Okay, present value, how much is this car? 38 grand. Ignoring taxes, all this extra stuff, okay? Future value? 
we're going to assume this is getting paid off the bank. It says actually, um, oh, it doesn't. I didn't put it in there. Four years, okay? It doesn't say. Let's assume it's four years. Now, this is, you know what? Not many people can buy a $38,000 car and finance it over four years. I'll show you why in a sec. Okay, but for practicality purposes, for our question, that's what we're going to do. How many payments per year? Monthly. Monthly, 12, yeah. Okay, and compounding per year? Yeah, that's what that says, 12. Okay. All right, so what don't we know? <coughs> Payment is what? Oh, yeah, thanks. Where did I have that? 5.8. Well, either or. No, but let's be consistent. Yeah. That's how we've been doing them. Future value is nothing. Payments per year is 12. Compounding, it's also 12. This is a loan, that's typical. What's my payment? Woo. Who can afford that? Yeah, usually car loans um, over five years. Typical, if you got a big down payment, now what if she had another car, she traded in on it, it was worth 10,000. Now our loan's only 28,000, that's doable, okay? This is tough, so you know what people do? I mean, that's not a very expensive car these days. You get some 20 year old going in there and he needs this big honking diesel truck, because he works at the mine, right? And that's just, you know, everybody else is driving one, so I gotta get one too. $60,000 truck, easy, 70 grand, no problem, quite common. Okay, so he goes, oh, holy cow, a thousand bucks a month? Uh, how much is it over seven years? Okay, seven, eight hundred. Oh, that's bad. Oh, but we can do it over ten years. They do it. They finance their truck over ten years. Okay, find out how much that is over ten years. He's paid like a hundred and ten thousand dollars for this truck. You know what it's worth in ten years? It's probably in the landfill. If it is worth something, it's next to nothing. And that's if he takes care of it, right? Yeah. But he still rents, doesn't own a home. 888.95. So, is that all I need to know? What does this thing cost me? That's what I want to know. What is the total cost for me owning and driving this car? over four years. Okay, well it cost me eight eighty eight ninety five payment a month for forty eight months, okay, which is forty two thousand six sixty nine eighty. Is that a good down payment on a house? There is. But, like, is it worthless in four years? Or do I have some kind of an asset there, some kind of equity I've built up? Is it worth something? Well, the car is worth something. It depreciates by 30% per year, okay? But it's still worth something. So I started with. Well, that looks like a minus sign. Depreciation. So the first year, 30% as a decimal is 0.3. Okay. So I'll show you the long way to do it first. That's how much I lost the first year. Okay. After one year, I lost 11,400 on this car. It's not worth 38 anymore. Right? It's worth 38,000 minus that. So that's the same number, it's just negative. That's what the car is worth after one year. Okay? Do I have to do this four times? What's another way I can get this number? 
it goes down by 30%, what's it worth in one year? What's 100% minus 30%? Yeah. What is 38,000 times 0.7? Same number, isn't it? Okay, so is that like saving a little step? Okay, do I need to do this four times? Or do you guys maybe remember how to do this? Do I want to do this in times it by that four times? Or can I do this? 0.7 to the power of 4 would be what? That would be doing it again and again and again. Okay? Times 0.7 to the power of 4. Ooh. So in four years, that car is worth nine thousand three fifteen eighty eight. Okay, it's not worthless, but you know, at least I got something there. Okay, so what am I doing? The total cost. What did this car cost me? That's what I paid for it. This is what it's worth, right? So if I take the difference, that's what it cost me overall. That's for the lease. Yeah, we're not we're just looking at buy here. So we haven't even looked at that yet, right? All right. Yeah, so total cost is that's what I paid, but I could get this back if I sold it. Okay, so take the difference. Okay, this is the same number, it's just a minus. 33, 352, okay? By buying that car, that's what it cost me to own it for four years. Provided I didn't put it in the ditch or anything else. Okay, make sense? Is that a yes? All right. Okay, leasing. Can be more convenient, maybe, because you don't have to sell it when you're done. You just, all you do is drive it back, hand them the keys, and if it's all in good shape, you didn't go over the kilometers, you got no dents, you've maintained it properly, you walk away. If you haven't, well, sir, you need to pay for this, sir, you need to pay for that. I see their kids in the back seat ruined it because they ate McDonald's in there twice a week. You got to pay for clean that. Okay, the tires are worn out. You got to pay for new tires. That's why people they get caught with leases, okay? Because they don't read the fine print or they don't understand it. How much is the lease going to cost? Four seventy nine a month. Five hundred down. Okay, so it's going to cost me five hundred bucks. Boom, right off the bat. And then every month four seventy nine. Okay, so 500 and 479, how many months? Four years, I'm paying it monthly. Okay, so add that up. 500 and 479 times 48, whoop, not 448. Twenty three four nine two. Is that it? Is there anything else with leasing? That's all I got written here. Provided you did the required maintenance on it and there's no extra kilometer charge, which they always have, okay? Because you hand something back, it's worn out. Well, they're going to charge you for it. Usually, they're really, really restrictive. Twenty thousand a year maximum kilometers. Okay, anything above that, it's like forty, fifty cents a kilometer. It adds up in a hurry. Got a little fender bender. Well, you got to get that fixed, right? So, according to this, what should she do? 
provided, like I said, you know, it doesn't tell the whole story, right? Okay? She would have saved 10,000 bucks by leasing. Okay? Now, is this a real practical question? Probably not. I just made it up. Okay? It's, in reality, it's a lot closer. Because this dealership knows they have to sell this car after four years, they know what it's going to be worth. It's priced out accordingly, okay? Why would you want to do one or the other? Okay? So a couple of things. Leasing which is like a long-term rent. Okay? It looks like it's less money, but can be many extra charges, right? Easily, you could have $10,000 in repairs you have to pay for. What a shock that would be, right? You didn't change the oil frequently enough, and you need a new motor, mister. There's five grand. Now, what's the advantage with buying? It's yours, period. You own it. You can do what the heck you want, right? Ali, try to lease a car and put a turbo on it. Yeah, you're not allowed. You don't own it. It's someone else's car. You're just borrowing it for two years, three years, maybe four years, okay? Really restrictive. Well, because you can get a more expensive car for a smaller payment than buying. The payments are more, usually, to buy it than lease it. Okay? But if you're someone who absolutely wants to flip a car every two years, you don't drive it that much, and you take care of it, some math says that leasing could be a better way. 